Good morning, everyone. This is Sheila, and uh, I'm showing you today a uh, uh, junk journal I created for my good friend, Tenille. Hi, Tenille. And she asked me to help her uh, create a journal for a friend of hers that she wants to give as a gift. So she gave me basically all the materials and um, to create this, and I also dipped into my stash and found some things to use. It's a three ring binder that measures seven and a half by nine and it has like I think a one and a half spine and the pages I used um, 33 pages so back and front that's a total of 66 pages and I've used coffee dyed paper and cardstock and some other items and um, the cover was one of those like vinyl covers but I covered it with some black paper which I cut a piece that I thought was just the right measurement and then I balled it up in a ball and I wrinkled it and kept playing with it until I was satisfied with how it was and then I mod podged it on and you can see that there's a lot of really nice veining and then I took some wax uh, ink wax pigment or whatever I don't know exactly what it is but the gold and the um, silver and I just stuck my finger and I just went all over the book to give it like an aged kind of look. I like how it turned out. Oops, sorry. Um, then I add, I did this collage of things. Um, I got a little lace. I have some a cardstock, some of those uh, really nice paper flowers, some buttons, this really nice rose. Um, I did some 3D element stickers, and then I wrote Elegant, Dialing, and Fabulous. Those are stickers. And on the spine, I, I have some charms. There's like a little cat that has a crown. There's a little um, engine, a hot air balloon, this little rosette. And then, of course, this Eiffel Tower and this little tiny bead. And for the closure, I use some um, binding that I used an ink pad and I just rubbed the ink pad all over it. And then I wet it and then I crinkled it up in a ball and I let it sit there for a whole day till it dried. And then you get this nice little wrinkly effect. And I punched a couple holes on the sides of the book and I used buttons and what I did was um, attach the buttons so that it keeps the closure nice and taut and I used some gold uh, thread to put the buttons on and I didn't do anything to the back okay so let's go inside so the front and back covers Um, each have a pocket with this nice flowered edge and I have she had a, a sticker pad that had all these uh, like travel stickers on it so I put some there I have a couple postcards and then just my um, little business cards they tucked in there so there's five um, pocket pages also in this book so a lot of them I did cardstock, um, the craft cardstock, and here's a belly band with a tag, and some have tabs on the side. I use some black paper and some um, what do you call that burlap for some of the tabs. So on some of the pages, there's room to add pictures and then a little journaling space. On the coffee dyed pages, most of them I left blank so that she can do her own little thing. So I used cardstock, I used some line paper, I used music paper, I have some um, small ledger paper. Right, so here is a little coaster. This is actually a coaster that I have a set that came with napkins in a coaster set with this cute little uh, raccoon <laughs> here's a couple of journaling tags I added a little silhouette of a lady this is um, from 
this is actually uh, I bought at the Dollar Tree I bought some file folders with the Paris theme on it so I actually cut that down because this is actually a scrap from something else I did and I just made a, a tag out of that and here's one of the pocket pages with a big tag inside like I said there's five of these and I have to say, I really enjoyed making this. I didn't know how much I would like to do a journal on a binder, but I, I really liked it. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot more. Here I have another place for a picture and then a little flip up where they can journal something inside. Here's a pocket that I made out of some uh, coffee dyed wax paper. Um, when I do my coffee dyeing, I lay paper on my wax paper and I use a spray bottle. So this is actually the paper that the other pages were lying on and I let it dry and then I cut it and I made envelope out of it. And there's some tags inside. I love this little journal tag of the Eiffel Tower. There's some little journaling tags. That was actually for my stash. And this side came undone. I'm going to have to, you know what, I'm just going to add a little glue while I'm here. <laughs> Alright. And I just added this paper uh, flower. My paper underneath even. And a little button. I bought these buttons at the dollar store. I've used them a lot. This one is almost half gone. But they had some really pretty ones. A dollar for all these buttons. I don't know if they have any more. But I hope when I go back I can find more. Because I use them all the time. This is just a piece of scrap coffee dyed paper. And another one of those tags that I made. And the paper. That some of the paper she bought. I forgot the name of it. But we got she bought it. I don't know if maybe Hobby Lobby I wasn't with her um, anyway and I use just paper from my scrap bin so I can't really tell you what paper pads I've used okay here's another little spot she could add a picture a little journal in I, some of the pages I did add a sticker this page is actually upside down <laughs> but I, this is from some tool book Here's some graph paper. This is from a storybook. Here is a picture of a train. I added a couple little tags uh, here with some buttons. Here's another little envelope I made out of scrap. And just put a couple little things in there. There's a photograph and stuff. So I just, I'm trying to do more collaging on pages, which I haven't done that much in the past. Here's an old tag here. Another little area for pictures. Here's a belly band. And I just made it like a little booklet type thing. Um, here I added one of this, this bodice stand. I have a, um, a die cut for this. I really, really love it. I bought it from um, Wish. They have so beautiful dies that are cheap, cheap, cheap. And they work just as good as the expensive one. So I made this belly bean here. Here I left this page blank. She can do some collagen of her own if she likes. Just added these little stickers. Another little sticker there. A lot of space to add her own. Little touches if she likes. Here's just a little tuck space pocket with a big journaling tag. And then this is a piece of Yahtzee paper. That I just stuck in there. I love this picture of this little dog. <laughs> That's so cute. Here I have um, a little tuck spot. I, I used a doily that I coffee dived. I just added a flower and a button. And then it's a picture of a beautiful lady with her dog. I don't know where this came from. Someone actually gave me a few of those. Here's another one on the back side. I don't know what paper pad that came from. Did I actually glue that? Yeah, I actually glued that to the page. I didn't even realize that. Oh well.
another big spot for journaling or added a picture with another big tag in it another one of those little stickers travel the world it says he has a nice collage I really like how this turned out I used a piece of burlap a tag um, then it, this black paper and then I just put this little flag here that says arrive little postcard image and a couple little stickers here on this side I have made a pocket out of a postcard and then added some stickers and then just put in some journaling cards here I did the same picture a spot for journaling or write uh, pictures excuse me this little stamp thing here I added this bike sticker and this little tag there here I just put a little sticker here I feel like I need to sneeze. Ooh, I hate that. Here I left this space empty so she can add some more things. Here I just did a little collage of these pictures. This paper pad that she got, excuse me, ain't even a paper pad. It's one of those packs you buy at, think at Hobby Lobby. Comes in a, the plastic bags and they have coordinating things in it. There was one big sheet with all these traveling pictures, so I cut a couple up and I backed them with some black cardstock and then I used this train sticker down the bottom. Here's the other pocket with a couple more postcards. And then that's it. Um, <clears throat> I'm hoping she likes it. I really, really had fun making it. I love this journal. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And as you can see, if you if you follow me, I'm really getting close to 500 subscribers. And as soon as I do, I'm going to give do a giveaway. So please tell your friends uh, about my channel. And I'm going to, I know I haven't did a videos as I promised because I haven't been feeling good. Um, I'm having a lot of trouble with my neck and my shoulder. And I had like four weeks. I was in so much pain. I didn't feel like doing anything. But... I'm starting to feel better, knock on wood, and hopefully I'll get more videos up and things like that. But please subscribe, like this video, and you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching.